Hey everyone, it's the writer on Red Elric with a manga review of Volume 1 of Get Backers. If you recall, in one of my vlogs, I asked you guys to choose from a couple of manga uh, which ones you would like to see me review, and the two with the most votes was Get Backers and Densha Otoko. Um, I will be reviewing more volumes of this, if all goes well, if you guys want me to, as the same goes for Densha Otoko. And um, the other two choices were Nighthead Genesis and uh, Jin King of Bandits. Um, I'm just going to review those two as well, uh, because I have nothing better to do. Uh, so yeah, uh, uh, this is actually my first review of anything ever, so hopefully I don't, you know, fuck it up. Oh, I gotta stop cursing. Anyway, um, okay, so excuse me for my poor pronunciation of Japanese names. Okay, but the art is by Ran Rando Ayamine, and the story is by Yuya Aoki. Um, there's 39 volumes in total, uh, it ran from, published from 1999 to 2007. Um, there have been 28 volumes released in America, and the 28th volume was released in March 2009, so it's been over a year since we've seen a new volume, so I don't think, uh, they probably discontinued it, uh, which I'm not surprised, you know, people aren't buying enough, probably, of it. So, okay, before I get into the premise of what it's about, uh, just quick things, uh, what I noticed while I was reading it. Uh, it's kind of modern on a social pop culture kind of level. I mean, they uh, one of the, a joke they say in here is um, hoes are us, you know, like a play on Toys R Us. And they mention Final Fantasy, a Final Fantasy game in here, which I, I thought was cool. There's also slang and urban colloquial. So, um, uh, the, I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, you know, the slang, I thought it was pretty relatable. But then I think they kind of overuse it, and then uh, and they, I think they try too hard with the slang. Uh, that just gets to be annoying, in my opinion. So, um, on to the two main protagonists of the story. This is Genji Amano, and this is Ban Mito. And to the get together they form the Get Backers. Um, and they have, like, supernatural powers. Genji uh, can produce electrical currents, like an, elect an electric eel. Uh, ban has this evil eye where he can make people see illusions, any illusion he wants. Uh, Genji, Genji is more like a, a sappy with the ladies. Ban is like more perverted with the ladies, and I also think uh, Genji is uh, more reasonable as a person. Okay, so together they form the Get Backers, right? And they're a recovery agency that gets back or retrieves what shouldn't be gone. That's their motto, and their success rate is nearly 100%, um, but they don't get many cases, so they're pretty low on the prov poverty line, I mean, like, at the beginning of the, the volume, uh, they're, like, starving, they have, they can't even afford food, um, so the premise for volume one is they decide to take a case from an old man who, uh, is poor as well, and they take a case from him for cheap, they don't charge him much, uh, like, nothing really, uh, because, uh, He's poor, and I think someone's coming. Hmm. Uh, so the old man wants them to return or retrieve his daughter, uh, who his daughter Rika, Rika, who's been taken by the Yakuza, which is like I think some gang. Uh, but what the get backers find is not what they expect, and that's all I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna spoil. Um, so the volume is split into two acts uh, with separate parts. The first act is, uh, like, there's, like, little subplots. So the first act is uh, about Rika, and then that's resolved. And then the second act is another, uh, introduce another plot, uh, which is not resolved in this volume. I would have to check out the second volume. So, um, I think, there, I think there's just little subplots before, like, the real plot kicks in, which is cool. Um, the art, I like how the characters are drawn. And how their profiles are, but what I don't like is the clothes, or at least the clothes or the bodies. Nah, more like the the clothes of the guys. Uh, not really the girls. The girls, the girls look fine. I'll show you a picture if I can find one. Here's some of girls. Um, let's see. Here's another one of a girl. And let me show you some examples of the guy's clothes, which I just, I don't like. Uh, just let me get a good shot here. Um, okay, 
you know, flip over any time now. Um, here's one. I guess it's the best one I can show. I don't like their clothes. I think they're too baggy, too big. I don't know what they bother me. But other, than, other than that, um, you know, I think I like the art style. Uh, very detailed, the background and everything. Um, it's it's pretty good. So the just the clothes is my only complaint. Um, the humor, I think, I think a lot of people might find Get Backers funny. But it wasn't for me. Like I only laughed in a few parts because uh, well my my everyone has their own sense of humor. Mine's I think mine is a little weird, so that's just me. But I do think people will find Get Backers funny. Um, you normal know, people because I'm just weird. As far as content goes, uh, it's rated for uh, older teen, and it had more sexual themes and nudity than I expected, than I liked. Um, so yeah, please make sure you're you're 16 and up if you're going to check out the Get Backers. Um, action, uh, the action's pretty good so far from what I see. It's pretty good. Uh, so all in all, I like I like Get Backers enough to get uh, the next few volumes um, and to see where like the plot goes and how it develops. Um, but I tell you right now, I'm not going to be getting uh, the whole series. Uh, Unless, like, the plot, like, gets really amazing and, like, I don't know, it becomes, I don't know. Just for now, uh, I'm not going to get I'm just going to get the first couple volumes. Rev I'll review if you guys want me to. Um, and if you're interested, uh, or you were interested or intrigued at anything said in this video about the Get Backers, then I would recommend it, you know, from, like, the sexual themes to, like, the story, uh, you know, to, like, the characters, the art. Uh, yeah, I totally recommend it if you were interested um so yeah let me know if you've read the get back the get backers have seen the anime let me know what you guys think of it uh let me know also know if you guys want me to review uh the next couple volumes either volume two or volume two and three whatever um i'll do it so uh thanks for watching it's my first review uh is eight syllables uh peace out guys